you that ladies to the point where they know that I am enough in myself. I don't need validation from someone else. If I know that I'm enough, then I would not stay where I should live. Mm. Okay, I should know how to respect myself. So if I see someone disrespecting me, I know the difference. I know, no, this is no respect. You should respect me. Okay, so uh, I think that's a major factor for me. And most times that's the point from which I teach my clients to move from or move out of abusive relationships. Mm -hmm. it's um it's it's quite shocking actually because what you you touched on a couple of areas there about how we sexualize um children and in fact i did a post today my other organization is called potency world it's about educating girls and a major major part well major part of that is about uh consent relationship advice financial advice about how to look after themselves internally and this self-worth this value that shivani touched on and you've touched on as nikkei is when you feel uncomfortable it shouldn't be even a hesitation that you go no no this isn't right don't, don't touch me there um i'm going to be doing a recording next week with a lady about something that's uh spread um from a intimate situation to a, a quite wide ranging abuse i just wanted to give um <clears throat> a quick example mine is in no way uh, as bad but i um nearly got married uh, 15 or so years ago and the lady was and at the UK, you raised this point when she was with me she was very nice but i noticed that everybody else she spoke about she spoke about negatively everybody else she spoke about she spoke about as if they had no value and it's literally that as you say joseph it's that disregard for any human and it's funny because literally i am the opposite end of that scale so i speak to oh uh, look i might not have money to give to a beggar but i can give them my eye contact i can say hello i can acknowledge their presence that for me is the minimum as a human being so and i think that's the reason that you know unfortunately there is a an attraction of opposites because people want the bits they don't have themselves and i suppose uh, so fifa do you do you mind telling our viewers because it it must affect your trust of men your experiences you're muted sorry can you repeat the question again well I, I, I'm, I, I, I'm, I, I want to be careful because I don't want to upset you but your <laughs> okay well your your experiences I would have thought affect your trust of men it, is that true for you and how how do you deal with that okay um first i couldn't open up to my parents for more than 10 years i didn't tell them because i i saw no need to tell them because you know this kind of um situation the abuse will make you feel like okay if you tell anybody this is going to happen to you you are going to do this you're going to do that you know you live in fear and basically you live in a thread for guys i know so i i couldn't tell anybody i i it became a secret it became my top secret until i met a mentor i met a mentor so it was <laughs> and the funny thing is the person i i shared this story to first was was the lady before i shared it to my mentor so i I was just it was it was <laughs> it was not an easy experience actually you know having to tell people that you've been abused before you know you feeling 
feeling inferior when people tell your kids that we can even like oh i've been abused before how how do you feel about it so i summoned courage actually courage and even at that i didn't tell my parents until recently but i summoned courage i told one of my teacher then because this happened when i was very young 